Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use my PGA Golf uh, lineup optimizer uh, spreadsheet tool. So, in this tool, I'm going to, for, on the first, if you need, forget the instructions, you can go to the instructions tab and it'll kind of explain all this again. You're going to mainly work off this multi lineups tab and this has all the information. Down here below is all the player information with their salaries uh, and our projections. Here's your projections, the odds. This is what you want if you're basing it on exposure. And here's different uh, golf stats for the players. So first thing you want to do is enter in your login information. If you don't have it, it'll be sent to you within 24 hours. Uh, or you can email me. But the temp login should work. You can Once you put your login in, press refresh logins for the first time that you use it. Then you won't have to anymore. So what you want to do at the beginning of each week, press refresh, and it'll pull in all the current week's uh, FanDuel and DraftKings salary and all the stats and so on. Once you have that, you can just run lineups based on either projections or based on your usage or exposures. So let's first show you how to run it based on projections. So you get to choose here which site you want to use, FanDuel or DraftKings. Which projections do you want to use? You can use ours, yours, or the average. So ours are right here. Our FanDuel projections, our drafting projections. You can go in and just adjust them too. It's got 100, but you might think it's less, so it's only 90. You could do it on yours also, and you can upload your own projections. Maybe you got them from some other website, or Rota Grinders, or some, somewhere else. Or maybe you do create your own projections. All you're going to do is go under the Your Projections tab. You're going to type the player name in here or copy it in there and put the projections. I'll show you an example. Just say I'm copying players from, a, from some other website that, that sends me projections. And here's their projections. They obviously, they're just made up numbers. It'll tell you there's no spelling error. If there happen to be a spelling error in there, it'll tell you the spelling error and then it won't upload them. So you have to go in and correct it. There's no error. And click add there and see it added your projections. So now you can run. I mean, obviously, you're not going to run on just those handful of projections, but if you had a whole bunch, you could upload them real quick and then you can just choose this to yours and run, run your lineups. But I'm going to put it to ours. I'm going to click run lineups based on projections. And there. So now here's our lineups. And here's the score. So it's sorted by score. Here's your lineups right here. All the way down with all the all the golfers. And here's the exposures of how much you have of each player in all your lineups. If you don't like it, save this 72%. That's too much for Snedeker. Just take our projection, drop it down a little bit, rerun it, and then this actual usage usage should uh, go down. If you decided, oh, Woodland, I want him in all my lineups. I'm gonna put an X in there so that I'll lock him in. If you want to make sure, if you don't want him in Ryan Moore, oh, I don't want him in any lineups. I'm gonna take this, change it to zero, and he won't be in any lineups. So that's how you run it based on the projections. The other way you can run lineups is based on usage or uh, exposure. You get to pick, say, I want Justin Thomas in 20% of lineups. I want Paul Casey in 30% of lineups, or so on. So say I'm going to put him in 20%. Put him in 30%. You want to make sure you get a nice mix of high, medium, and low price guys. Right now I'm just kind of going randomly picking people and picking numbers. But obviously you would go in do your research and say, oh, these are the people I really want in there. And you, if you're running for six golfers, you want this roughly to come out to about 600 for your total usage up to here, your usage total. And we got a lot of golfers in here. It doesn't have to come out to exactly to 600 either. 
So there, so we got 545, that's close enough. Now we're gonna run it based on usage or exposures. It'll take a few seconds and it's gonna take us to the, your lineups tab. And here's your lineups. Right here, uh, I forgot to show you this. If you want to, this will pick how many lineups you want 10, 25, 75, or 150. You can change this up. And here, because we only ran 20 lineups, we don't have enough high price guys, so that's why Justin Thomas is coming up in 100% of the lineups. Let's say we put more in there for 40% of the lineups now, and we get we want to rerun it. And you could just keep rerunning it till you get exactly how you want the lineups to look. Now we'll go back to here, see our stats. And see, so we still don't have enough high price guys, so we we need some more high price guys in here. And that's just how, how you would adjust it. We can put maybe, maybe we want another another guy up here put Snedeker in there and we'll run it one more time and I think you guys can kinda get get the point of what um, what's going on go back to the lineups there and it's it's getting a lot more closer we, uh, now that we have more high price guys in there I must have just put too many low price guys but when you do your research and put them in, you'll you'll be able to uh, get a nice mix in there. And if you only want it, if you want to export this to CSV, you could do that by clicking this export to CSV, and it'll create a file that you can upload. If you only want to play a couple lineups, you could just go on here on your lineups tab, kind of find the highest projected ones, or just pick ones that you like. And just copy them in to uh, FanDuel or DraftKings, and you're ready to go. So that's my tool, and uh, if you have questions, let me know. Thanks.